Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In this video I have prepared two very simple multiply choice questions for you. And this video is going to be about population genetics. And as usual I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, choose your correct answers. And when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. And here is the first question. Which of the following statements is true? And here we have three answers to choose from. Answer A. Gene pool frequencies do not change as a result of migrations in or out of the population. And this is not true. So imagine that this is population of birds here. So one bird, another one, and here is another one. And here is another population of birds. So I just drawing them very schematically. So uh, when one of the birds from one of the population would move here, it's going to transfer its uh, alleles. So this population would gain new alleles. And also if one of the birds would move here, also this population would get new alleles in the form of this migrated bird because this bird can uh, mate with other birds in this population and uh, this alleles that is different from uh, what can be found here would stay in this population and would affect this population. So as you see gene pool frequencies do change as a result of migrations in or out of the population. And uh, answer B, uh, gene flow occurs only as a result of migrations. And this is also not true because uh, not necessary for, uh, for example, in our example, one of the birds uh, move here and stay. It just can come, stay here for a while, um, just enough time to mate with uh, one of uh, other birds here and just return back. Another example of the in, in the human population would be uh, movement of people masses. For example, uh, when there was a Vietnam War, tens of thousands of Americans, American soldiers, uh, who is Europeans and Africans by origin, came to Vietnam stay there for some time and when they left uh, they also left many pregnant women so uh, now uh, Vietnamese population have uh, some alleles that uh, can be usually found in African populations and European populations so as you see this is not exactly example of migration sometimes uh, this is uh, we call visitors influence. So just came and left. So answer C, gene flow can cause new alleles to enter population's gene pool and this is would be correct answer. So one more time, uh, gene flow can be caused by migration and by just visiting. Next question, which of the following cannot cause evolution? Once again, here we have four answers to choose from. Answer A, genetic drift. And uh, what is a genetic drift? Genetic drift is uh, when we have small population that adapts to new, for example, uh, circumstances. This can be environmental factors. And one of the classical examples would be a population of bugs that... Uh, for example, uh, have some variety in the colors and uh, birds can uh, easily spot those bugs that uh, would stand out on the, for example, light bark of the uh, trees if they duck and those who is uh, lighter in color wouldn't be as easily uh, seen. So those bugs who is going to have a darker color coloration 
they would be eliminated from this population. So this is an example of genetic drift. And answer B, non-random mating, um, can cause evolution because uh, this leads to preferential mating. So uh, females usually choose male. It applies to human population and to many uh, animal populations, many species has non-random mating and uh, this is normal evolution process uh, that leads to uh, most adapted to leave uh, their progeny. And uh, this also causes uh, changes in allelic frequency in population as long as genetic drift. So both these answers are correct. And next uh, gene flow and gene flow as you saw here, also cause a change in allelic frequencies in population. And change in allelic frequencies we call evolution. So any change in allelic frequencies in population would be evolution. And uh, so this is also correct answer. That means that answer D, all can cause evolution, would be correct answer. But you also have to know that um, Along with these three factors, there can be other factors like mutations and environmental pressure. And all these uh, factors usually work together. And uh, all these factors cause change in allelic frequency in population and so cause evolution. So this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.